Hey everyone, this is Icy Misu bringing you more of uh, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. On the last episode, we're only getting some quivers, and of course, if you remember correctly, on the last episode, I did said that we need to bring ten cuckoos here. Last time, on the last episode, I ended up bringing five. For those who have not seen the episode yet, just click, just go back and click it on the description. But anyways, without further ado, bringing the ten cuckoos and gives us four, another force gem right here. I don't remember exactly what number is this, 10, 11, not entirely sure, but on the video it's going to show up what number is this. Now, this fortune also opens up a new warp gate, which pretty much takes you directly to the, to the Fireland, and that warp gate is just pretty much closely, just up north of the Goron target range, so it's pretty good. Of course, you got to activate in order to get there as well. I do believe I do go there, or I do do uh, or I do something else. I don't remember exactly for sure. All right, the rabbit heaven. Since the fact that I already got ten grass rabbits, and if you talk to him back, he'll reward you with some rupees as well. Including that includes the ones you caught on the snow. And here, we cut, catch, catching 10 of them, he gives you uh, Ember here. I got on Ember, pretty nice. If you're really short on uh, treasures, and he, there you go, you can get one right there. And now, if I remember correctly, last on the last time I came to visit, I couldn't even get this treasure. I just didn't remember how to get it. And then now I did. <laughs> there you go. That's how you grab it. Just put it something, just qu something quickly I wanted to show. Now here, going back to the Goron village, on the other hand, you want to talk to this Goron right here. We Goron heard about this stuff, cause know that you can find it in the Nuki village. Yes, what about it? It could be a rumor, but we heard it's cold, fluffy, and pure white. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, I agree with that with you there, sir. Sure, I have seen it. Yes, it is fluffy, and very cold, and white. And there we go, we have to take this Goron. Now, remember, like, probably in two episodes ago, that we end up needing to do the side quest by uh, taking the village honcho back here? Well, this is the particular quest you gotta do first. You must do this in order to do the other one. And in here, since I already have about 7,000 rupees, we can buy this quiver right here. And that gives us both quivers already and the last one right here. That increases up to 50, I believe. And that should do about for any quivers anymore. So we got all bond bags. And all quivers. Now also we can do right here is... We'll go back here. Remember this one Goron that he was actually selling... Um, some iron barbs? Well, since we now we have the cart. We can go and actually buy some. If you have money, you should buy some. Well, hello there. This is the first time you have shop here, yes? Yes, indeed it is, sir. The iron we sell here is the Gora brand, the local specialty. Go Kagoran let you borrow a wagon, did he not? Yeah, he did. That's how I'm able to do all these side quests. Now, the place you want to take all these, uh, these uh, Goron uh, bra brands, I think that's what they end up calling it. You want to take it back to uh, Mace Gore or the Whittleton Town. No, Whittleton Station. There we go. It's, uh, Whittleton if the US version. The European version is the Mace Gore. So. With that, I do believe... I don't remember exactly if I go to a Nuki Village first. Yes, I do. I do go to the Nuki Village. And with that, we're here. We can actually drop off our Goron here. Ah, it was all true, and the whole place is covered with white fluffy stuff. Yep. Got me the trip out here. I'm so glad you gave me a ride. No problem, sir. And with that, it gives us another Force Gem. Da -da -da -da. Oh, wait. That's the wrong song. <laughs> now, this Force Gem opens up a track, a new, sp uh, new track just just east of the uh, wellspring or the icy spring you want to call it and also opens up two bunnies as well to catch but first 
I do believe I want to leave out these iron bar, uh, these um, these uh, Goron brands first, because I want to get these out of the way as well. And with that, we're just gonna go there. Now you probably noticed that my rupee count just went down. Well, I was trying to buy some stuff and racking up points so we can actually get the certain item in from him. And it's gonna be worth your time. I do believe I'm trying to go to well oh yeah, I did say that already. We're gonna take these uh, these Goron brands to the Woodleton station or Maze Core if you wanna call it. Yeah, because the uh, the only reason why I wanna do that first instead of catching the bunnies here, it's just um it's the evil trains that are here, that's the problem. And the train goes wee tilts. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It really isn't much that to say about, really. And there we go, I switch just blow out the whistle and warp. Just like that. And so my name was coming our way, but nope. Warp says no. There we go. The forest land. Now we just make a very quick trip all the way to my score or Woodleton if you want to call it. Now let's see here. What else there is to talk about, really? Oh yeah, there. It, like I said, it's been five episodes of me just doing nothing but side quests. But then again, I did warn you that we're going to be doing a lot of side quests, and I did mean it. Because there is one more episode to do as well, for a lot more uh, to do side quests. So, after that, we can actually continue with the story. Trust me, there's a lot more to do now. But as soon as we get for our, I believe, the fourth visit to the Tower of Spirits, there aren't going to be that much of many side quests to do afterwards. So... Getting in that the way, it's gonna help you. Now, is it this guy? I don't remember exactly who was it, exactly. That's what I'm trying to remember here. So, you probably have not noticed, I did say that these uh, side quest episodes are gonna be uh, post commentary. Now, I do try to remember, trying to rack up some treasures as well. I should just cut it off, really. Don't remember. I don't remember, was it this house? Nope, it can't be him. Yes, yes, we did. We already got the Force Gem too. Um, don't remember exactly. So if it wasn't this house, and then I actually remember it was that guy who was actually selling those locks. Now we talk to him. Hey, is that iron you're carrying in your train? Yes, sir. -y. Yep, he's the one who wants to make some axes out of the iron. And I do believe oh he only needs five. But since I already have seventeen, yes, I end up getting into end up to a battle while I was going through this. Well carrying the uh iron and with that we got another force gem. Now force this force gem pretty much opens up another um another shortcut just just east of the uh of the wooden temple or forest temple you wanna call it. It it's a shortcut that takes you directly to, um, what is it this time? Oh, it's just if he wants to sell some lumber, but we don't need it right now. But, while well, I was interrupted, it's pretty much a, a shortcut from the forest land to the snow temp, uh, the snow land. It's a new track that just pretty much opens up just, just west of the, yeah, I'm sorry, I meant west, not east, west of the forest land. I mean the forest temple, not... Yeah, Forest Temple, there we go. <laughs> Jeez. Now, going back here, just by the Icy Springs, since there are now these new tracks, we can catch these bunnies here. Very quickly, there's only two more to catch. No, not two more. There's these two more we need to catch. And I do believe there are two more left. Well, two snow bunnies left, actually. Don't remember, two or three, but we're gonna get through it, don't worry. And here we go. And here, just struggling to catch this bunny. It's like, bunny, come here. Come into the net. There you go. Seriously, I keep saying it. Well, I probably said it like, 
like a few episodes back. This cy this small cyclist is just as atrocious as the um getting the eight big puzzles on the Ocarina of Time. But there we go. There's the bunny, and that that's another warp gate. And I think I actually end up taking this warp gate. I don't remember exactly where this warp gate takes you. But I might as well go through it and activate it. So if I remember correctly, it does take you to the forest of uh, uh, Fireland, but where exactly on the Fireland? Because you gotta activate this one in order to actually come here. There we go, okay. So we are in the Fireland. Just right, right about here in the map. Now we're gonna go back to the Goron Temple. To the Goron Village, that temple, Goron Village. There's another side quest we want to do here. Now we go back here, there's this Goron kid who wants to go, well, you'll see. I'm tired of living in, in, the, in the sticks, so I'm moving to the big city. Oh, really now? I will not change my so do not try to stop me. Uh, okay. You are so aloof and a cold, cu a cool, cold cucumber. Really now? Yes, indeed. That's where the princess lives. See what I'm getting at? One-way ticket to the big city, please. Sure, sure, might as well take you there. No one, okay. And seriously, Link is always pushed around on the screen. But yeah, when the big city, they mean pretty much the castle town. I mean, that's the only thing that resembles as a city, really. And I think that's what we're gonna do, take him back to the city. I don't believe that's what we do here. Okay, so we do just do that, actually. Just take him to the big city. And there we go, we're here. And you'll see what he means by princess as soon as it goes this cover session, because it goes... what? Yeah. Yes, you have. You can see all the snow land and then here, but whatever. Now I can always want to see the big city. Well, it's pretty much a town, not a city. Princess, Princess Zelda, where are you? Princess Zelda, but Princess Zelda is just with me as a ghost. That Goron child looks so happy. But do you think he'll really get to meet the princess? Um, what am I saying? <laughs> of course, he can't meet the princess. I'm right here. But duh. <laughs> Silly Zelda. Now let's just go back talk to him. Now this is the big city. How very exciting. All the houses are made of snow and the, and the delicious ones are that. Oh, there you are, princess. Wait, what? What princess? What the heck, Goron child? The heck, Goron. This is your princess, princess. Alas, I found the princess. Oh, really? I have been looking forward to this very much. <laughs> uh, what is this rocky lump? And why is it all? Is it talking to me? <gasps> I cannot believe I'm actually conversing with the princess. Um, Gora, I'm sorry to break it to you, but she's not a princess. Oh, really? Now it's just another stuck-up woman. Really? It's true. I've always thought of myself like that. I'm happy to hear that others share the, that point of view as well. <laughs> but she is so different to how I imagine. Well, that's because she's not a prince, actual princess. Maybe the imagination makes everything prettier. Reality can be very harsh sometimes. Oh, well, half of that is true. What did you just say? Well, I'm sorry for not living up to your high expectation. <laughs> well, so much for that. Smooth move, Goron? Question mark? Yeah, this city princess is sure a short temper, but this is the big city and I'm just decided I'm going to spend some time here. Thank you for taking me here. But apparently he meant my princess actually metaphorically and not literally. But anyways, that gives us another force gem and actually opens up a new track on the... Just right on northwest of the Fireland. But, with that, I'll end the episode here, guys. So, next time on Legend of Zelda, Spare Tracks. We're gonna see what more, any other cycles we can actually move on. And then we can actually move on with the story. So, this is Isaac Misu saying, see you guys later.